Alright guys, it's Hitran here. Welcome to my channel where we write highly unnecessary programs that are fun and teach us new technologies. Or at least help us in a way. Yesterday I was sitting at my desk job when I realized the last time when I was actually in a standing position was right before I got into the office three hours ago. This made me think, I need to make more breaks and remember to stand up more often and look away from the screen from time to time. So instead of just standing up like a normal person, I thought, what if we try and learn Python and create a voice recognition app that will actually remind us to stand up? I know, <sighs> how is somebody not doing this already? Actually, there might be somebody doing it, I don't know, I haven't researched it. <laughs> uh, after all, I just like programming, I like writing unnecessary programs, so let's just go for it. Since I have a day job though, uh, this video took me a while to create and research. I will try to make it as a one continuous story, but if any of you guys try and uh, create this kind of pointless but fun app, do not get discouraged. I have seen videos of people uh, that are starting from scratch and creating a whole operating system for, for two days or something like that. I am not that guy and this took me a while to complete. So don't worry, uh, let's sit down, learn some code and have fun in the process. That being said, let's start with the early morning study sessions. First thing I needed to do is download and install Python. Then I decided to do a small 5 hour tutorial from Giraffe Academy, honestly it was pretty awesome for beginners. I'm using Atom as IDE for the purposes of the tutorial. With some work and not so thorough following of the tutorial, I got my first cool Python program, which was a guessing game. Nice. The beginner's tutorial was very long and I wanted to freshen up the experience. So I jumped into a tutorial about voice recognition from TechWit Team. It was a whole series of about 5 tutorials, but all I really needed was the first video. Uh, you, you can notice that there are a lot of imports in the beginning of the file. Uh, these imports don't come out of the box with Python and you have to install them. So I will try to leave the commands in the descriptions for everything I use in the, in the video. At this point I was getting pretty tired and I wasn't able to study uh, for much longer. So I decided to take my dog for a walk in the park. The game was on now. I continued with general research for voice recognition and some problems I was facing. Then, finally, I finished the first tutorial. It was finally time to get serious and start working on the stand-up reminder app. It's time to do, 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 do. Maybe as expected, I faced a lot of issues, especially with libraries, uh, because I was trying to make the app work on both Windows and Mac. 
It took me a whole while to figure out that uh, on Mac there is already a pre-installed Python. Uh, so the command for Python 3 uh, that I was using needed to be Python 3 and pip3 respectively. Also, I tried to create a repeated timer class, but this didn't work out because the run and wait function of the speak engine was colliding with the thread of the timer. Okay, after some happy moments and some disappointing ones, uh, here is the code of the finished product with the proper explanation about it. We start by importing all the needed libraries and the first thing we do is uh, in initialize the engine that we are going to use all across the program. Uh, then I uh, defined a small function, check all voices, that uh, checks out the, um, all the voices that the engine provides. Uh, you can choose your own voice depending on whether you're using Mac or Windows. The speak function takes the voice that you already chose and the engine and says the text that you provided. The engine's run and wait function is pretty important here because every uh, text is put on the queue and then with this run and wait function we say the text that is on the queue and the engine waits until the text is fully finished. The get voice function is pretty self-explanatory and the uh, most important function maybe is the get audio one which uses your microphone and adjusts for ambient noises which is a very nice uh, method that's provided in the um, library and uh, it recognizes your voice and play, uh, places it as text. After this we continue uh, to the main um, uh, Python file. Uh, this file is pretty um, straightforward. Um, we are using all of the methods that we uh, created in the voice handler and we are practically asking the user with speak commands uh, how many times he wants to uh, be reminded to stand up. Depending on the choice of the user, in this case ourselves, uh, we, are get, we are going to get reminded every hour um, for us to stand up. This is the next stage. Oh. Okay, I'm here on my Mac and uh, since we developed uh, the whole app on uh, Windows, I decided to try it out on the Mac. So let's go. Good morning. I am your stand up reminder. How many times you want me to remind you to stand up? Uh, three. I will remind you three times today. Okay. Yes, uh, please do that. Remind me three times. Please restart me to choose another number. I am still not that complicated. Three. I will remind you three times today, okay? Okay, yes, please do that. Reminder times are now set. Soon you will receive your first reminder. Okay, so I guess we are uh, gonna get to work now and um, work or just some YouTube videos and just chill out and wait for the reminder. Stand up, walk with me. Okay, we are Stand done up. here. Look away from the screen. Bye. Stand up. Take the much needed break, now. Alright, this is it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and like it. 
and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Goodbye.